I am going piercing crazy. I like the off shoulder vibe. I am kind of nervous. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I just realized I did something really silly. I put lip balm on, lip gloss on, right before I'm about to leave, and I'm gonna have to wear a mask. So enjoy the lip gloss for now because it's gonna be wiped off in a second. I used this Codate Beauty one, it's a gorgeous color in Spy Gloss. <laughs> Spy Gloss. Okay, I have quite an exciting morning ahead, so I need to just sort out my brains before I leave. I feel like now there's so many more things to remember before you leave the house, like mask. Okay, it's just a mask, but I mean on top of credit cards, wallet, uh, AirPods, lip gloss. <laughs> you know, there's just a lot of stuff to remember when you leave the house. I was gonna wear these pantalons, which are currently on my floor drobe, <laughs> which are great, oh, <laughs> they belong on the floor drobe, they know, which are great little pants, but I wanted to wear something panty today, but I'll show you what I'm wearing in a second. I'm just gonna spritz myself with as a Leo. Oh, it's quite a wintry scent, this one, but I just love the woodiness of it, it's great. Um, what else do I need to do before I leave the house? Oh, powder, I actually haven't powdered my sweet face today, and I look sweaty already. I'm using my By Terry Hyaluronic a great one I mean you could literally put it on with your eyes closed mm -hmm. before I leave I oh can you see that down there little ASOS parcel I have a dress in there maybe I'll open that up with you later I had a few questions um, after my video a couple of videos ago my central pay video on how I apply it and because I'm literally about to go out I just want to apply this straight over with my clothes on. It's the easiest thing to apply. This is my self tan, by the way, the Purity Vitamins. And what you do is, because it has a nice fine mist, it doesn't interfere with anything that you're doing or wearing on your day, mist it onto your skin like that in nice long motions and then blend. And I'm literally just gonna do this today because I want my arms to look a bit more um, tanny. <laughs> And then I'm just going to mist my hand as well. That's the great thing about a mist, is that you don't need to worry about your hands or your feet because it does it all for you. So, okay, I'm gonna show you again. Light mist, light mist, light mist, light mist. Ah, oh, it smells so good. And then we blendy, blendy, blend with the mitt. That's literally all there is to it. Takes less than 10 seconds. It's the easiest thing to apply in the world, you just gotta get the gist right, I think. So once you get the sort of mist and blend, oh, it's so easy to use and it dries so quickly that I'm just gonna go and leave the house now and get about my day and let my tan gradually develop. I just, you can see my tan's still there. I just want it to pop a little bit more. I want to top it up a little bit. Ooh, I love using my hands and my nails are all long. I feel like a little cat. <laughs> How long are my nails, by the way? I have claws, claws. Okay. Right, let's get going. By the way, I know so many people have bought this already. I will leave a link to it down below. It's the best self tan. I'll insert actually my before and after on the screen now. And now let's get going for the day. <laughs> Outfit of the day, we have here, nothing very revolutionary, revelationary, revolutionary. <laughs> because I'm wearing the same H&M jumpsuit I've literally been wearing for months. I love it so much. If you haven't got your hands on this yet, get it just get it you will not regret it this is like a really light nice linen jumpsuit and it just works for absolutely everything right now so i'm wearing my cream one today with my dior bobby bag i will link um this down below this jumpsuit by the way and then i have my Givenchy trainers on the bottom because i'm going to be doing a lot of walking i've still ditched my car i am doing so well not driving anywhere so i'm going to walk to my appointment i'll tell you where we're going on the way because I actually need to leave. Right now my appointment is in 20 minutes. Just walking past my favorite flower store. It's always so beautiful. And I didn't bring my sunglasses today and it is the most glorious Sunday I could have even done a little mini dress today. Anyway, I am going to Maria Tash in Harrods right now. I haven't been to a department store since February time. I know they opened like a month ago. I just haven't been to one. So I am kind of nervous. I wonder how busy Harrods is right now. 
apparently they're not super busy and um, one of my friends who's been with stuff just says it wasn't that busy but we shall see um anyway i'm going to maria tash today you might remember i used to have a little flower garland in my ear here and that actually broke <laughs> once i think someone hugged me like really tight and it just snapped in my ear so anyway i sent that off to maria tash that was maybe last september and i had an appointment with them and then i couldn't make it i had something for work and then I had my jewelry collection shoot so I didn't want to be shooting with an earring that I couldn't take out that wasn't part of my collection so it didn't pierce my ears then anyway then it closed and now I'm finally going back so I'm looking to get a couple more piercings I think because I love how I have three holes on this ear but I don't have three holes on this ear I have two and I want more <laughs> the more earrings the merrier Okay, we're going to the Maria Tash studio. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, I have these ones. Who remembers them from when I got pierced in New York? Oh, I'm so excited. Here is my fixed flower garland. Oh, it's so pretty. I forgot how beautiful it is. Nice and shiny again for yeah, you. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. Okay, so we're looking at... So we have the diamond ears. trillion and then we were just yeah. saying about putting the little diamond eternity oh, next to it. Together. And it's like a little engagement yes. ring. What's this one? So this that one is, is going to be an invisible set marquees. So we took the marquees diamond stones and then we made oh, them I into... That. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And again, you can stack that with the eternity and you have yeah. the different textures of the diamonds, which yeah. is really, really nice. I love that. That looks so special. We have these little butterflies as well, which are so sweet and all the gorgeous studs. I'm going piercing crazy. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Four today. Four more piercings. So we have obviously your original flower garland. Yeah. And we're going to pop that one here. We're going to go in with our small flower just on the tragus here to tie in the flower effect across. Then we have the invisible set marquees that we're in love with. But it's just going to sit beautifully here. Love it. And we're going to finish that ear off with a little diamond trinity. Oh it's just going to nestle in there. Yes, I'm going to have six piercings in this ear now. It's going to look great. Really, really good. Excited. Okay. This is one of the most beautiful little hoops I've ever seen. It's so dainty, it's hardly picking up on camera. That is so beautiful. Every single one is laser drilled and it's like a double tier, so you have a marquise at the bottom. And the nice thing is it moves, so depending on where you wear it on the ear, it will chandelier down. These look gorgeous. So what's the damage on these? These guys are going to be, I will have to give you a price separately, but they're around about 27000 Oh my. Oh my goodness. They're so beautiful. I love that design. That the design is beautiful, isn't it? The way they cut. So on the website as well, we do them with sapphire, which is really, really beautiful. So white diamond and sapphire. Oh, then we also did these with really cool. eye. It's so lifelike. It's a perspective glass eye. It's literally so these were all we, we got loads of them and then we mounted them into rings and we have a couple of different designs, but this is the lace and engraved one. Which is really it's incredible. It's so lifelike. I know it is, isn't it? And we've got them in the blue, we've got them in brown so you can choose what eye color that you want which is really fun i am getting ready to go in to have one two three four five piercings in a row i feel like my ears are not gonna be amused after this are they oh i'm kind of scared but this is probably the least painful place i've ever had pierced this was so painful up here and it didn't heal and just never ever healed so i'm over that over there and hannah had this here and one healed and one didn't she had two I just can't be able to risk it. So I'm literally gonna stick to the safe zones and try something here instead, which is more of a cartilage area. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, my ears are bright red. 
but I am leaving Maria Tash. Oh, it's really popping here today, isn't it? But I will debrief with you when I'm out of Harrods. I'm going to exit the store and when I'm outside I'll show you my earrings. Ear stack better. Thank you, bye. Oh, that's so sweet. He just said, God bless the doorman at Harrods, the cutie. Well, as you can see, hold on, let me show you. Let's do this. Can you see? So we have one in here and then these two here. And then, sorry, all my foundation and makeup and everything was gone. And then my flower garland is here. Look at all the sideburns. They come with Middle Eastern blood. <laughs> Part of the territory. And I did have to put on this um, disposable mask, which I find the disposable masks really gutting. If you can get yourself a reusable mask. I think for any doctor's appointments, I had a doctor's appointment and I had to wear a reusable one and I kept it um, and I kept wearing it and I should have bought it with me because um, obviously in a piercing you, they want you to use the proper PPE um, no matter what mask you're wearing which I totally understand um, so I should have bought that with me actually that was a bit silly of me I should have bought my one maybe they still would have made me wear a new one anyway <laughs> Anyway, moving on from my mask rambles. It's just such a thought I have at the moment because I keep seeing them all on the road and stuff. It makes me a bit sad um, how much we're going back into disposable things. Anyway, moving on from my mask ramble. I love the Maria Tash piercing studio so much. I um, originally went to the one in New York back in the day. Oh, I haven't had my ears fit. My age was like when I got my Look, I'm going red. <laughs> they have one in Harrods and one in Liberty. And I went to the one in Harrods when it opened a couple of years ago. And they're just so efficient, so quick. I had a piercer called Penny. She was amazing. And I think I had her last time I went as well. Maybe I can check on my vlog, actually. Um, anyway, she was so quick that five piercings went in like a minute. This ear is a tiny bit sore. It's quite red, actually, isn't it? It's one of those things she just says, deep breath in, take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and then you feel the pain. <laughs> but it's really not that bad. They just make it so much easier and better for you. Um, and it's not with a gun, it's with a needle, which really helps as well. Basically every single Maria Tash earring is just stunning. I mean, you can get a lot of their jewelry online. Um, I know that I know um, net a -Porte stocks them, so I was looking on net a -Porte last night actually, um, and I'll link to their jewellery down below, it is so gorgeous. My Maria Tash earrings I've just kept for so long, their wearability of them, the way they last, the hoops, the size, everything is just oh, so perfect. Let's give you a better look now, can you see my ear? I hope it's in focus, it's so hard to vlog your own ear. But I hope you can see everything on that ear all well. Those two new guys and this one as well. And then on the other side is where my flower garland is now. It looks so cute there. I really like it, kind of like hugging the ear. And I feel like it shows it off better. I feel like when I had it in here, you couldn't see how beautiful it is. And now you can. I don't know if this is going to pick up. And I'm just making my lunch. So if that's what you can hear in the background, that's that. But... Whenever I'm stressed, oh yeah, it's there, I get these absolutely huge lumps on my face that it, it will go down, but as soon as I get stressed, there's always something work-related. I'll explain in a second, I'm out of breath. But I get these lumps on my face. It will be anywhere. It was here, last time it was here, here. Just these like very big, thick lumps and they'll come in about one minute. They'll take maybe like half an hour to go, but they come and go. It's so weird and it's only when I'm stressed or when I'm anxious, when I have something come up and I'm like, oh my God, and I freak out and I can feel the like, almost like adrenaline in my body. And it is the weirdest thing. Look at that, it's like a huge lump. And it's, it's nothing to do with where it is on my face because it's been here, it's been here, it's been all over the place, but it's always on my face and it's always like a, almost like a giant yellow can you see that there it is look how weird that is it just comes and it pulses and then it goes oh 
Oh, I feel like I'm about to be sick, but I'm not. But anyway, uh, uh, I'm trying to do something at the moment. And if I manage to do this, it will be the biggest thing I've ever done in my career. Not just in my career, in my life. And it is proving to be so much harder than I thought. And it is really a lot at times. Um, and I just got an email. And I re and as I was reading it, my heart was just going, oh God, oh God. And all of a sudden, this comes out on my face. Like, it's just, it's crazy how your body has such an instant reaction to stress. And whilst I'm aware of that, I really struggle with managing my stress and not getting so overwhelmed in that moment. Um, if anyone has any tips, let me know. It's more like in the moment things like, I meditate, I journal, I, I do quite a few things. I would say I'm quite an aware being, especially what I used to be. But even then I'll get sort of like a big hurdle that I need to cross over and I will still, my body just goes into freak out mode. Um, even if I know, like I'll kind of talk it through with myself and my brain. I'm like, okay, this is not a big deal. We can manage this. My body's like, say what? So let's see how long this takes to go. <laughs> it's 1.44 now. It's been here for about 15 minutes, I would say. Sometimes I get two at the same time, but today's just the one there. Oh God, see, it just grows. It grows literally in front of my eye. It starts off really small. Can you see that giant lump? And then it just grows. And if, if when it was here, if I did that, then you could see the yellow, it was, was red. But then if I, stretch the skin like that you can see the yellow it's almost like a funky boil or something this is what i've made for lunch my sticky sushi rice cashew miso sweet miso actually salmon i've done a recipe for this on my iu tv so if you want it go watch it good morning happy monday i haven't vlogged since like last week i think well let me tell you an update oh my music's playing hold on Oh no, I'm trying to FaceTime Guy. Oh dear. Oh no, sorry, I'm FaceTiming Pia. Oh, ah. So, let's have a look at these ears. I mean, they have been a bit bruised. A tiny bit, but they're looking quite nice. And healing well. This is a little bit bruised. This one's great, and I love how the flower garland looks on here. I'm just getting ready. Today is a really grim, miserable day, and I was going to walk to lunch. But I don't think I am now because it's literally boring and I'll end up looking like a drowned rat. But today I am finally going for lunch with Guy because we haven't seen each other since pretty much the beginning of lockdown, I think. Since about, I think he left right before the flights, all the flights stopped. I can't remember. I think that must have been like March, April. Anyway, we're going for lunch today. One of our favorite places. We normally see each other so often. And I'm so excited that I get to see him now. So I'm actually wearing jeans, not a festival. I do not miss jeans, okay? Because they're just so tight. I haven't worn them in months, literally months. But I don't really have any other choice today because it's raining. I'm gonna put on some lipstick before we go. This is the Dior Lip Tattoo in 321 Natural Rose. It's honestly one of my favorite colors. They last really well on the lips, these lip tattoos. You can see it's literally like my lips, but pinky nuda and they dry down to a kind of velvet matte ah oh, they're so beautiful mm. so i'll link that down below if you want to check out the lip tattoos they're my favorite i'm going to put that in my bag and then on my eyes i'm wearing this rosewood palette from dior i think it's rosewood yeah rosewood neutrals and i've kind of mixed the warm tones with that golden shade up there and oh it's just heaven. I totally left out eyeliner today because I was like, I don't need that. And my eyeshadow looks too nice. Right, in my cupboard. Welcome to my cupboard. In here, I have one jumper that I want to wear today, I think, which is this Me and M one. It's like a light, almost like a summer cashmere jumper. Like if you live in the UK, if you live outside the UK, you're probably like, what even is summer cashmere? But if you live in the UK, summer cashmere is a thing because it is mid-July and it's pouring with rain. So let's try this on. Excuse the pile of laundry there. I've got my mother denim jeans on because they're super stretchy and this is the cardigan It's like a very sweet Oversized cashmere cardigan. It's quite light 
um, from me and M. I'll link this down below because it's such a gorgeous colour. They do it in cream as well. And I might just tuck that in there. I might add a little belt. I'm not sure, but I do want to wear my new Chanel bag. Pretty baby. So in my bag is going my lipstick by Terry Powder. Hello, monkey. Oh, pee, monkey. <laughs> I am dropping deep at my mum's before lunch because um, I'm going there afterwards for an appointment. And then, oh, come on. Come on, by the way, look at my nails. How cool are they? They're amazing. I love them so much. I did tips, um, like uh, bright tips, and then I thought I'd do pastel tips. Last week I had, no, two weeks ago I had pastel nails, each nail a different nail, and then I thought I would do tips. I'm getting like very fun and experimental with my nails. Come on. And this is how I get around now. I've ditched my car, I've said this so many different times, but actually now, I'm in my trainers, my comfortable trainers, so it's about a half an hour walk to lunch. And I have in my bag here my shoes that I'm gonna wear. <laughs> um, and then I thought I'll walk Duke on the way back as well um, and take him to the park. So then I'm just getting everything done, you know? <laughs> Gotta get those steps in. And um, Duke is now so used to being walked so much more because <laughs> of lockdown I feel like I would walk him like way longer and stuff anyway if anyone's seen by the way that um sausage dog like song that I put on my Instagram stories I'll save all my highlights for this I'll put it under like funny dog or something go and watch it because it's this amazing little sausage dog that sings about what it's like to be a dog in lockdown and it's to the song first I was afraid I was petrified oh that one I will survive oh it was the funniest thing I know all the lyrics off my heart and I've probably watched it about 30 times <laughs> I know I said I would update you on that spot that, that like lump I got on my face and how long it took to go it lasted the longest of anyone I've ever had it lasted that whole day before it went hold on I'm tangled in Duke's lead there we go <laughs> I think it just shows how crazy stress can be on the body I know um I did my health update this weekend and I keep thinking of so many other things that I should have said in that video I don't know if anyone else feels like that if you ever have like a work conversation then you're like oh I should have said this I should have said that so if anyone has any more questions um then leave them down below or message me because I feel like I missed out so much stuff like for example I forgot to say at Viva Mayor they tell you to not eat raw food after four if your digestion is impaired if you have IBS or SIBO because it takes way longer to digest raw foods than like yeah it takes way longer to digest raw foods than um cooked foods so yeah stuff like that how beautiful is London right now it's really empty I feel like a lot of people have gone away um it got busier again just like in the streets and stuff when um, lockdown lifted and the shops opened and stuff and now it's like really quiet I went for a run this morning I did my 5k and it was so quiet I could literally run in the middle of the road normally at like Monday morning I was running about 8 a.m it was it got busier and now it's quieter again so I do wonder if people have gone away anyway <laughs> ramble I have missed this it's really quiet in here which is why I'm like because there's like no tables around but anyway guy eating his food. Aloha. I've missed all these incredible salads, so I didn't even give you a chance to say hello. I'm Hi. Just too eager to talk about the salad. Busy eating my food. One, oh thank you. One, two, three, all the firm faves. And they now have actually hand sanitizer on table. That's the new norm now. A little pump pre-food. Ooh, that sounds kind of dodgy. This can go closer over here. Got a little cheesecake outside. It is, isn't it? it it's really so weird. beautiful. I'm back and I have my retainer in. Mm. I'm trying out some teeth whitening and I need to wear it for an hour a day. And every day by the end of the day I've forgotten. <laughs> so I'm doing it today. It's now like 5.30. I just had a delivery arrive. Oh, by the way, it was so good to see Guy. So nice to see him. We haven't seen each other in so long and now he's going away again. So I'm not gonna see him for a little while. Sorry, I have a lisp now <laughs> set up. <laughs> right, let's try open this up. This is something that I wanted to, well, I'll explain. 
coming. One hour later. I took out my retainer. I waited because I could find it so hard to talk at the same time. This was the reason for my My Teresa order. This cute little Love Shack fancy dress. I realized that the Love Shack fancy dresses I own, maybe like two or three of them, even the two pieces I wear the most in summer. And um, I wanted a more wearable color. I have like blue, yellow, pink, like very colorful colors. And this one, because it's more of a light baby, um, like it's almost, almost like off-white blue. I thought it would be a much better color to wear day to day and not something that's like so vibrant and I can pair it with more things. Whilst I was browsing online, I saw this really sweet bright pink bikini. I love wearing bright pink, like my toes a bright pink right now. I think it just makes everything look really tanned and nice. It has really gorgeous like gold detailing you can see and I like the scrunchiness of it and I kind of like the it's not a thong ass but it's not not a thong you know gotta get that booty out. Well I actually don't really have a booty but I'm getting it out anyway <laughs> and I like the kind of light really light padding in the bra so I'll link this down below. They do really sweet um, swimsuits and bikinis. They're more that like sexy, skimpy Insta style. So this is the little Love Shack dress on. Love Shack always do these really gorgeous, girly, puffy sleeves. And what I love about them is how they pinch you in at the waist. My Teresa do have a really good selection of Love Shack dresses. I always talk about this, and I talked about this in my previous video. If you suffer from bloating, then look for something like this where it has more of an elastic waist. It really is more figure deceiving than you think because it kind of elongates your legs the cute little ruffly skirt and brings you in at the waist so it sort of hides whatever you've got going on around here a little close-up detail of the beautiful girly fabric if we look in here i'll show you what i have that's from love shack i mean these that's love shack that's more of a love shack dupe i would say this is love shack so you can see my love shack clothes are like really printed oh and then this one's also love shack so it's like super printed i wear them so much so i wanted something a bit more on the neutral side i know this isn't exactly neutral but it's more neutral for love shack prints i've just changed outfits because i want to try this bag on properly you know that i don't buy bags on a whim and I have not been tempted by any of the Bottega bags. The big kind of pouches that were really in, the mini ones, I had a moment and then actually I put on my Instagram stories and someone responded saying it looks like a bin bag. And I was literally put off for life. And generally I found personally, personally found Bottega to be a bit of a mumsy brand. Maybe that's because my mum has always worn Bottega bags. However, there was one color that I fell in love with when I saw it and it was sold out everywhere, everywhere except my Teresa. So let me know what you think. I'm not sold on this. I wanna know your thoughts. And it's really, really a lot because I love the color and a lot because I love the shape of the bag. I feel like it's a really unique shape. So if I didn't give it away, it's a Bottega bag. And this is it. It's this beautiful color that you know I'm obsessed with. My earrings, my ring, my nails are this color. It's literally the color that I, it's my favorite color right now. This is the mini Jodie bag. And I'm gonna see what it looks like with this outfit on. I love the knot shape. I love how it's quite stiff shape and it looks almost like a little mini boat but i'm not i don't know about Bottega bags i don't know just let me know what you think so this is what it looks like on when i hold it i wanted to wear it with just like a really simple t-shirt jeans kind of look something that oh i'm wobbling in my heels <laughs> shows you how much i've been wearing heels recently that i would just grab this to make it more of a kind of elevated look and i'm wearing it with my little manolo shoes that i love and also i thought because it's like summer now i wanted to make sure that i could wear this with a more wintry outfit with a more sort of evening look if that makes sense so anyway this is what the bag looks like and it has a little knot at the front which i love most people i see kind of hold it like this or wear it like this which i really like as well i see a lot of people wearing it with um, maxi dresses i think i would wear this with a white maxi dress or maybe even this jumpsuit a little cream jumpsuit that could look nice together or this leol dress that could look really cute together maybe i'll try that on next what do we think i love how much this brightens up the white i really do 
and I think this actually looks really nice even sort of paired back with the flat sandals and the more sort of flowy dress. I love taking one accessory and seeing how different looks can kind of really switch up the look and feel of it. So let me know what you think. I'm curious to know your thoughts. I'm gonna do my usual thing where I take pictures of everything and then I send it to everyone I know and I'm like, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I have like my girls group that I'm like, let's air thoughts. And all we do is like send different outfits or if someone's going on a date, they're like sending the date look and the date makeup. And anyway, it's a nice cute little support group. Morning everyone. I'm trying on a new swimsuit that I ordered and I think I'm gonna keep it I ordered this because I really wanted a high-waisted swimsuit but not a granny high-waisted swimsuit I wanted it to still look kind of sexy sorry I literally just woke up which is why my eyes are all puffy anyway I thought this one was really sweet because it has a double option of like a shoulder situation or a little off shoulder I like the off-shoulder vibe of it actually. I like that it kind of stays up by itself because it has this wiring. And then as you can see, this high-waisted vibe of it, it has like quite a nice thick belt here, which is great because I think that makes it a bit more flattering. And then you can see the high-waisted cut comes up quite high. A normal cut would come here. And I think that's what makes the high-waisted look look really aging almost so i wanted something with a bit more of a revealing cut not too much i mean like the bum is still coverageable it's not like i'm wearing a thong or anything <laughs> i'll link it down below in case anyone's looking to get a high-waisted swimsuit that can kind of be worn a few different ways i think i prefer it this way actually and i think that looks really nice oh my god what do you want <laughs> what do you want it's my sister and yes my whatsapp group is called big fat pussies basically that group was made when i was getting married and it was called weddings and shit and then after we broke up and called it off isabella changed the name and she wanted to make me laugh so she called the name of the group big fat pussies <laughs> and i don't know why it makes me laugh whenever it pops up on my phone everyone's like you have a group called big fat pussies <laughs> Let me know what you think of this one because I actually bought a different top and a different bottom. These were on sale, the swimsuits that I bought. It was like a weekend sale and I'd never bought high-waisted swimsuits before. And I really wanted to try them. Oh, hoo -hoo. I was like very passionate, really wanted to try them. And I was like, you know what, now they're on sale. I'm going to give them a go. I'm really happy I did. But yeah, you can't really tell that the top and the bottom don't really match. If I'm looking at it really closely, the top has like little line details on it. But... It doesn't bother me at all. I don't really notice because it's black, I think. Maybe if it was a different colour, it would have been a bit different. Anyway, what I love about this for girls that suffer with bloating like me is that it has a little tie here. So it kind of almost like covers everything up and makes you feel a bit more secure and it's really tight and almost like spanksy. <laughs> I like the spanksy panks feel. These are a bit less of a revealing um, cut I think but I think because of the bow it makes it quite sweet and girly and then I, I've just paired that with more of a revealing top um, this is from a really nice brand I'd love to get more of their things what I will say is that these don't move which I really like my little poochy swimsuit these move like these bits that are on a string so all of a sudden you could have your nipple out and it just wouldn't be a vibe for anyone at the beach unless you're into that, not judging. But this feels much more secure, almost like a little like com comfy t-shirt bra actually. Anyway, that is my little black swimsuit, which I love. I'm really happy with these. I feel like I did really well on sale with these two. So I'm really pleased. Today is the day of eyebrows. Look at these fucking slugs. Oh, I'm literally walking past the same place I was walking past the other day when I was vlogging. Slugs. Slug, slug one, slug two, slug three. My eyebrows are literally joined at the middle. It's so horrendous. So Hannah and I are going to go get our eyebrows done and we both just showed up in the same bags. My bag, Hannah's bag. Both vintage, pre-loved, Penny baguettes. Where did you get yours from? Bestia. Bestia, and I got mine from Farfetch. And um, did you put a bid in on yours? Um, I did, but it wasn't like a bidding war or anything. Did she just accept your bid? Yeah. Vibes. Um, that's what I love about this, yeah. You can bid for the bags, far fetch, you can't really do that. Outfit of the day while we're waiting to go up. I have my Paloma Blue mask on. This me and M gorgeous blazer. And a me and M tank top underneath. Like a little black tank. 
my mother denim jeans on and my APLs. Okay, we're going up. So this is the before of my eyebrows. You can see a nice close-up of my little slug eyebrows. They're so long. Just finished with Suman. These are the finished eyebrows. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, it's a life. Life. Oh my gosh. All my eye makeup has disappeared because when you have your eyebrows done, you have to like hold them. So I don't even know why I bothered putting on eye makeup this morning, but my brows look alive again. So good to feel my eyebrows like all clean underneath. Like every time I highlighted under there with my makeup, it just looks so bad because it would just like cling to all the little hairs. I really need to wash my hair as well and sort out my color too got lots of high maintenance stuff to do oh that's my stomach i just ate lunch oh by the way i changed right now into this really sweet cardigan from skinny dip which is gorgeous it has really sweet little sleeves it was just too hot for a top and a blazer and too cold for a stinky top so i thought the cardigan would be perfect it's really sweet with the little buttons as well they have it in purple too and that there is actually my packing this is how i'm packing these days by outfits so we have my new dress which everyone voted for on my instagram stories i think like 70 percent of people said keep i can't remember if it was 70 or 90 i think it might have been 70 and then i have this green dress i have a new paloma blue dress um oh this is a one i got on the sale last year i love that i wore that to the friday night of liv's wedding and just some other bits and bobs this i haven't worn yet i wore it in white last year and i want to wear it with my black bikinis it's kind of cool little like slinky thing for the beach um so i'm doing all my like outfits planning here what i used to do when i was packing is i used to just pack loads of crap and then plan outfits there and then last year when i went to mykonos i planned every single day what i was going to wear and it just made so much more sense. I know it's not a revolutionary thing, but normally I would just like pack some favorite bits and bobs, but packing actual daily outfits, oh, that is game changing. I feel like I'm sharing you a really useless piece of information. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but if you haven't, if you're like me, cause I hadn't actually tried it until last year and I travel a lot. So if you're like me and you haven't actually tried it, then um, try that, you will be amused i think i'm thinking about doing another bag giveaway because the prada bag and the manolas are safely with their homes now so i'm thinking about doing let me show you i'm thinking about doing something more autumn wintery maybe like a fendi last time everyone chose the prada kahir bag i put it on my stories um so let me know what you think maybe the prada odette bag but that one actually lost in the last poll so maybe not that one. Or maybe actually doing one with Pretty Sack and doing one of their pouches, maybe like an Hermes one or a Dior one, like a little sack bag. Let me know your thoughts. Um, or like a Fendi like that, because I love that one so much. It's like wider than the one I was wearing today, the baguette. I feel like I've rambled quite a bit at you now. When you're watching this on Sunday, I could be away. I'm not really sure. I haven't really thought too much about trips and stuff. All the ones that I had booked that hadn't got cancelled, I kind of just kept to see what would happen to them and to see if like the situation was safe and if I felt comfortable going away. Right now it's in a couple days and it's still going ahead. Every time I get an email from the airline, I think it's a cancelled flight or just an announcement that they've cancelled the flight or that something's changed. So we'll see what happens. Um, and I will let you know on my Instagram uh, when when something changes, I don't know. Um, actually, it's Sunday now, so I might actually be away. Anyway, come and join me on Instagram if you'd like to. I'd love to have you over there and we can have a chat. Thank you for watching my vlog and I will see you next week. Bye guys.